Uh, I'm going to try to do this in five minutes, so I'm going to talk really fast. Maya, you can wave those yeah. things over there. <laughs> you can do, do this in five minutes, to be honest. The first thing I want to point out is this solar battery here on the floor that's powering the presentation. Nobody talked about it tonight, but this is so cool. This is a totally <laughs> off-the-grid presentation powered from Olin's genius over here. Um, so we should be doing this on a beach somewhere rather than in, in a room like this. Uh, <laughs> Um, good ideas don't become laws. Um, that is, is the lesson that we heard a little bit earlier. But unless two or three people actually get behind it and push. I got sucked into um, a law in, in 2005 because I was working before Hawaii Community Foundation and Environment. I was working with the Trust for Public Land, which did conservation. We acquired land to keep it protected. There's this thing called the conveyance tax, which Every time a piece of property is sold, a little bit of money goes to what used to be in 2000, pre-2005, half went to the general fund, and then a little bit went to watershed protection, and a little bit went to affordable housing. Um, and we had federal dollars that were coming out for land protection, for farming, for farming acquisition, and uh, watershed protection. It would sit here in Honolulu in the federal offices, and then go back to DC after it expired in two years because we didn't have any local funds here to match those dollars. So essentially our federal tax dollars, if we were paying our, us citizens of Hawaii, was coming out here begging for projects and then going back out to Ohio or some other you know, worthy place where they actually thought ahead and put a little money aside to match those federal dollars. So we got together and we decided this is ridiculous, we're squandering away these dollars. And in 2005, we went to say, why don't we allocate some money in this thing called the Legacy Lands Fund um, and increase those percentages a little bit and create this thing called the Legacy Lands Fund, which would dedicate dollars and then we could leverage those funds. Um, as Alani mentioned earlier, we're always standing on the shoulders of folks that came before us. This was a long-standing effort that had been going from the 80s. People had tried it. They tried it in different ways, but there was no one that ever really was able to just really focus on it and push this thing. Um, and so. Essentially, I did, did my day job, and then at nights, it was like, focus on what's going on over the ledge and try to rally people to, to do this. Um, the stars aligned not only because there was enough groups that really wanted this thing to happen, but in the off season, when people do have their time, um, some representatives went, we took them over on a trip to the Big Island, showed them one of Hawaii's last fishing villages down in Middle Lee and the land surrounding it, and it struck a chord with a couple of the representatives who had grew, grown up in rural Hawaii, had forgotten about how beautiful Hawaii can be. They spend all their time in this building over here, and they don't get outside of it much. And they were like, yeah, that's what it is all about. And the next thing you know, this bill starts to move. Um, it was important to get a broad array of groups. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> mostly for a baseline, right? And so. It, for, for a chair to be able to hold up a stack of papers and say, look at all the people that sent it in, that gets you to square A, right? And then the ideas and the factors um, and the facts that you're putting up there. The, one of the key things we did is we had opposition from the real estate industry, and we would go find, target, you know, I got a cousin who's a real, realtor, he really believes in what we're doing, and get them to send in testimony saying, I'm a realtor, those guys don't, I mean, I know I'm a member of this group, but they don't speak for me. There's some of us out here who believe differently this stuff. And you can hold that up. Just one beats a whole organization in some cases as long as they can see, oh, you know, it's, it's fractured. Um, it, it was, it, it was, it was a, it was homeless advocates, it was farmers, it was tarot farmers, it was um, uh, different scientists and environmentalists that came out. And that kind of unholy trinity of weird people coming in together for one bill <laughs> impressed these guys, right? Because usually they're like, oh, usually it's just, you know, one special interest or this other special interest trying to make things happen. Um, and so when they see a bunch of diverse people testifying on the same thing, it's like, oh, this is safe. Maybe I can do this. So that, that helped. We kept it positive. We highlighted benefits. Um, you know, you see crisis stuff all the time. It was in the news in 2005 big time. You know, there's homeless issues. So everyone was saying, oh, this is terrible, this is terrible. And we were providing a solution. We're saying, look, you know, the conveyance tax is a, it's way too low um, for all these high-end second homes that are being purchased in Hawaii. And we have the opportunity to do something positive and set aside some funds. Um, so the lessons that we learned, there's no parking over here. <laughs> and that sucks because if you want to bring people in, and they, they can't afford to go to a leaky place and pay eight bucks, right? So there should be some sort of system to let people testify during the day and park. Um, one, of the, one of the switch moments where I went from kind of like, I don't really know what I'm doing in this process to getting a little bit more aggressive is when I explained it to this woman and she was like, wait, so you guys only get 5% of this? You should get all of that tax money. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> we should get 
all of this tax money. You know, it, 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 you get in, into this like where we're going to ask for favors, right? Oh, well, the general fund needs 50 percent. It doesn't. I mean, it, it's like you know, Senator Hoosier was saying. It's priority. It's, there's plenty of funding, and so that made us more assertive, thinking, you know, this is this is our funds that are being generated on these ideas. They should be coming. <coughs> Um, naming is critically important. I know there's a bill that another one that Connor's watching called the barrel tax. And what's the image that comes to your mind? You think tax, first of all, and a guy wearing a barrel because he's been taxed out of all his money. Doesn't have to pay <laughs> I mean, something like economic or energy security fund or something like that, or you know, citizen security fee, something that's not tax, right? That kind of stuff helps. So legacy lands fund was something that we had seven or eight years over to figure out what was the exact right combination. Only three words to summarize this. And I'm probably over it, right? Okay, so one last point. Um, uh, let's see, what is, the, what is the one last point? This, uh, I'll, I'll choose the SAP one rather than having one, sorry. <laughs> the SAP postscript is, this thing got passed in 2005, and now budget hullabaloo is going on, and they want to kill it, right? So we've set aside this fund. We're getting like $10 million a year in federal funds protect land in Hawaii by setting aside two and a half or three million of our own tax dollars. And the first thing that they want to cut in this budget morass is this program. So there's a bill out there, it's 1741, House Bill 1741. I think James and Kanu is tracking it. But after all this work, the good thing is we have this broad network of a bunch of diverse groups that we now have, uh, and I'm not doing this anymore, so I, I don't doubt it see but the, um, the, the other people have picked up and they're going to try to, you know, to activate that group again um, and kill it. But it just shows you, you have to be constantly vigilant. It's like Nikki's saying, like you get this thing passed, everybody's stooped, super stoked, and now three years later, it could all go by the wayside. So thank you very much for coming out tonight.